right ladies uh, I'm just going to show you how you can once you've drawn your uh, isometric box either in a square rectangle standing up a rectangle standing down or a square shape so those are the three shapes you're going to be working with um, I'm going to show how you can put your design on so the first thing you need to do obviously I'm just going to draw over this is draw out your box frame hopefully you can see that like so and we're going to have to put a piece of acrylic if I just draw very gently in and if you can see this hopefully you can how the pieces of wood are going to go together so they're going to look sort of like that and now we need to put a piece of acrylic inside in the middle is going to be the um, circuit your electronic circuit so you're going to have a piece of acrylic on the front and the back so mine I've decided is going to be a little monster so I'm drawing, he's got a very scruffy hair, this monster. I'm drawing a piece of acrylic on the front. He's got feet coming out like that. And I'm going to put a piece on the back as well, like so. I can't really see his feet on the back. Now, I want to show the thickness of the acrylic, so all I'm going to do is put a line along the edge. Now remember, you're sketching your ideas, so you're just communicating your ideas so we can see what they look like. Don't use a ruler for this, just do sketching. I'll put some curves on there as well, just so it looks more 3D. So that's on the front and the back. Now, you could get a ruler and you could sort of rub out at this point if you wanted to. Those lines, oops, just knocked my camera, so it's maybe wobbling a bit. You move that in. Um, and you could just sort of rub out those lines like that if you wanted to. You see that? You can see it looks a bit more on that line down the bottom there. And now I'm going to um, <clears throat> I want to put some sound holes on. Now the sound holes are going to be on the back, so I'm going to draw the back of what this looks like over here in the corner. And I'm going to put some sound holes on. Oops. And uh, even though he's a monster, I'm going to do my sound holes in a heart shape because <coughs> excuse me. Uh, because I want it to look like a little heart. <coughs> then the next thing I'm going to do is put the screws on. Because remember, you've got to label it with seven labels. So those are the screws. So I could label it as I go along. Screws. Um, this is the acrylic. So I can label the acrylic over there. Oops. Um, I'm going to give him... Um, put some trousers on him. Oops. Like so. He's got little trousers on with a little belt. That's quite cute. Now these can be either they can be engraved on or you can actually um, do it with vinyl stickers. This is going to be a vinyl sticker. So I'll put a vinyl there. Mustn't forget to label my sound hose. Like that. Um, what else do I need? I need a jack lead. I'm going to have a jack lead coming out of his tummy. Now the jack lead can be on the front or the back, the sound holes can be on the front or the back. Um, but the toggle switch, where I'm going to make his nose into the toggle switch, has to be on the front or the back. So you can have the jack lead front or back, that's my little toggle switch, let me label them. So I'll label this one jack lead, all the labels are on the powerpoint, and I'll label this one um, toggle switch. Oops, some more screen of spell switch then. And then I'm going to put some eyes on him. Ooh. I'm going to put a scary mouth because he is a monster. And then all I have to do now is colour in my design and it's finished. So you need to do three different ideas, remember, three different designs. Maybe try drawing them in different shapes. Maybe a rectangle standing up, rectangle on its side, or maybe a square. Okay, cheerio.